Are you struggling with how to move on after relationship? Hi, I'm Nancy Soleri, host of the Living Full Out Show. We have had so many guests on over the years and heartbreak is heartbreak. Sadness is sadness. Like we all go through that. And I think we've all had those puppy love relationships. We've all kind of eyed somebody really hoping that they look back at us and having that crush. And sometimes we've had really long relationships where we've seen each other through storms and highlights of, of our life and milestones. And the longer the relationship, sometimes the more you mourn when it's over. And how do you move on after a relationship? How do you find you're happy again? Well, I want to make sure that you ring the bell and subscribe to our channel because we are all about getting you out there and living full out. But that does mean that you have to heal the past, that you have to find that happy in the present and really be excited about your future. Now, I've had my share heartbreaks over time. I, I never want to say negative things about the men that I've dated in my life because I personally believe when you tell somebody you love them, you always love them. But it doesn't mean that you're in love with them. You might just still love who they were when you were with them. So it's it's how you develop a relationship with love. Like I love my fur babies. Oh, yummy, tim, yum, yum, yum. They are the best. I love my mom, one of my best friends. I love so many people in my life. I love my assistant, Julie, who helps me. She's my eyes. She helps me see and, and do a lot of things that I, I can't do on my own. So you got to pick the people that you love and really love big back. But at the same time, when a chapter in your life ends, just make sure that you gave it your all. My philosophy on it is this. I will follow the rope. I will follow it all the way to the end of the line. At some point in a relationship, and I've stayed two years, three years, seven years, at the end of the rope, when there's nothing left to hold on to, you have to let go. And when you let go and you free fall, it's scary. I mean, sometimes our stomach is flipping upside down. Sometimes you can't eat anything. I tend to eat everything <laughs> when I'm heartbroken. But then eventually you get sick and tired of being sick and tired. You, you get sick and tired of being depressed and sad. And you vow that today is the last day you turn to toxic habits you know, in mourning of this relationship and you're like, I'm going to get back out there. And so you want to pick yourself up. You want to start small. Maybe it's just starting to go out with friends again, starting to get back to working out, maybe going and buying some new outfits, maybe taking a, a much needed trip and really shaking up the environment that you're that you're in, right? Because if you're around all the landmarks that remind you of this person, it can be hard to move on. But when you're able to do those things, you know what? You are going to get your life back. You are going to find your happy again, and you are going to be living full out. Now, I really want to make sure that you check out the video in our notes of this description here, because it's all about the past, the present, the future, right? And sometimes there can be healing needed from the past, but sometimes what's the most toxic and the most painful is in your present. And then so many of us, we live in concern about the future, the what if, or the what if it doesn't. What if the grass really isn't greener on the other side? Now, I'm a bit of a risk taker. I'm a fearless flyer, as some would say. So I would rather gamble and bet on Nancy. I would rather see what's behind door number three. I'd rather be arms wide open to my future saying, you know what? Come to me. I, I, I trust God. I trust that the future holds great things. And when you have that belief, when you have that faith, you know what? Sky's the limit because you're not held back by fear, pain, or even any hurt. So guess what? You can move on past this, this, past this relationship. So make sure you comment on this video. Give our community tips on how you've healed. And you know what? Let's all get out there and move and shake and have a great time. After all, that's what it means to live full out.
Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see other inspirational videos. Make sure to ring that bell. Also, connect with us on other social media sites and comment back if you'd like to share what type of videos you want us to create. Here's to you living your life full out.